Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at uh, introduction to uh, vectors today. Uh, this was the SPH4U class that we're going to be taking a look at. So this was vector components that we're going to be taking a look at. Okay. Now you did vector components in your grade 11 class. Uh, not in much detail, but you did do them. Uh, so we are going to go through them again. Uh, for this whole, whole course, um, we do take a look at vector components in quite a lot of detail. Quite a lot of uh, things that we do deal with vector components. So in terms of vector components, we're going to take a look at our first example right here. So it's uh, four point, uh, a chickadee, which is a bird, flies in 4.4 seconds in a horizontal plane from a fence post to a bush and then to a bird feeder. So it's going from the fence post right here to a bush and then to a feeder. The distance or displacement one is 30 to 22 meters. Displacement two is 11 meters. And first we want to find the total distance, then we want to find the average speed, then the displacement, and then the average velocity. Okay, in that order. So unfortunately I do not have my whiteboard with me, so I will uh, just use the PowerPoint for now. This is what it's going to look like. I'm sorry about uh, the drawing is not very accurate. Okay, so uh, D1, D2 is going to be 22 plus 11, which gives me 33 meters. And of course your speed is going to be 33 meters divided by 4.4 seconds. Now this is not something that we usually do much of in grade 12 physics, so you know what to do from there. Okay, now the second part, which is the most important part, that's what we're going to be looking at today, which is your vector components. Now to solve my displacement, I need to figure out what my what my displacement is. I, to solve my vector components and to, to figure out what my velocity is, I need to figure out what my displacement is. Now remember what we said, the definition of displacement is uh, what the uh, how far you are from the origin. How far you are from the origin. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out this displacement. Now to figure out my displacement, I'm going to first uh, number this or label them. So this is d1x, this is d1y, and that is d2x, and that is d2y. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, add our vectors apart. So our d resultant x is made up of d1x plus d2x. Right? Solving d1x. Now we know d1x is uh, at the bottom here, so using SOHCAHTOA. Right? Which is sine opposite over hypotenuse, cos adjacent over hypotenuse and tan uh, opposite over adjacent. So in the first situation, to figure out my d1x, we know this is on the adjacent side, so therefore we're going to use cos. So cos of 33 times 22. And this is going in the easterly direction, plus. And I also have this right here, which is going to be uh, exactly the same as well, which is cos of 25 and times 11 and that is also going in the easterly direction and we end up with a d resultant in the x component because both of them are going in the east direction we're going to add the two vectors together and when we add the two vectors together uh, we end up with the following so we get uh, cos of 33 times 22 which is uh, 18.45 meters plus going east of course plus cos of 25 times 11 which is 9.97 meters also going east of course we add the two together and you get 28.42 meters also going in the easterly direction. Now for the d resultant y, we'll do exactly the same thing, which is d1y plus d2y, and you get dry, which equals to, of course if this is cos, d1x is, d1ry has to be the sign because it's opposite of my angle, okay, opposite of my angle. So that's going to be sine of 33 times 22, 
which is going in the northerly direction, plus, again, the sine of 25 times 11. However, this is going in the southerly direction. So even though we say plus here, we know in reality, because the direction is switched, I'm actually subtracting these two vectors. So we're going to end up with dry, which is going to be equal to, so that's sine of 33, times 22, which is uh, 11.98 meters going north, plus sine of 25 times 11 is 4.64 or 4.65 meters going south. We're going to subtract the two. with a 7.33 meters. This was larger, so therefore it's going to be in the northerly direction. So that is my x component. This is my y component. We're not done, so we're going to continue. Now we're going to take the dx and the dy, so which was east and north, to get my d resultant. This was the drx, and this was the dry. Okay, so the dr, which is the square root of dx squared plus dy squared, gives you the following. So that was, let's go back to the last slide, get our numbers 28.42 and 7.33. So 28.42 squared plus. 7.33 squared. Okay. And you get a dr, which is 25.7 meters. Now, of course, we got to figure out my direction. So, these my theta. And to figure out my direction, I'm going to have tan inverse opposite over adjacent, which is going to be opposite, of course, is my uh, y component 7.33 over uh, 28.42. And your theta will come out to the following. going to be 14.5 degrees or 15 degrees that is going to be north of east so there is going to be my theta this is one of my directions of course you could have the other direction which is 75 degrees east of north both of these are correct so there is my d resultant of course I have not finished my question my question was asking for the average velocity so that's going to be my displacement, which is 25.7 divided by 4.4 seconds. Then your V average, of course, which is a vector, is going to be 5.84 meters per second, 75 degrees east of north, or 15.
15 degrees north of east. Now, in terms of uh, sig figs, as far as I know, our answers were all in two sig figs. So therefore, we're going to leave this as two sig figs, and this is going to become 5.8. Right, so that would be the most correct answer. Hopefully, this is going to help. Uh, we will continue putting uh, videos on. My next video uh, will be on acceleration in two dimensions and then also on projectile motion. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.